Hi, I'm Natalie Rhodes, and this is Into Math's fifth grade, module two, lesson one. I'm going to start out with the I can objective here. I can use an array in an area model to solve a division problem. I'm going to pause here and make sure even if you or your student knows how to do these division problems, I really want them to be practicing using pictures, arrays, and area models. This is the point of this lesson. All right, the learning objective is use multiplication to solve division problems. In their prior learning in fourth grade, students used mental math strategies to multiply and divide multi-digit whole numbers by one-digit whole numbers. Students found whole number quotients with one-digit divisors using strategies based on place value and the properties of operations. And lastly, students explored the relationship between the multiplication and division using area models and arrays. Okay, so now we're going to be jumping into page 33, Spark Your Learning. So a community center has seven digital music players. Each music player has the same number of songs. If there is a total of 112 songs, how many songs are in each music player? All right, so the first time reading through, we're talking about Something like um, an iPod playing music. There's 112 songs between the seven digi digital music players. Okay, so now we're going to read through it again, picking out the numbers and if there's any wording telling us what we're what type of operation we're going to be doing. So a community center has seven digital music players. Each music player has the same number of songs. If there is a total of 112 songs, how many songs are in each music player? All right, so they gave us a total of 112, but the question is asking how much does each of the seven have? So if you have a total and you're looking for each, what operation do you think we're gonna be using? If you said division, you'd be correct. All right, so what are we gonna be doing in this green box is we are going to be creating a picture for what this looks like without doing the standard algorithm. So I'm gonna start with my seven digital music players and I'm just gonna be making seven rectangles. I'm gonna do four on top and three on bottom. All right, so these represent my seven digital um, players. Now I need to I need to spread out my 112 songs. I know that each one is going to have at least 10 because 7 times 10 is 70, okay? Um, so I'm going to give each one 10. Instead of doing 10 circles, I'm just going to do one long line representing 10. That looks like this, okay? So I, I'm going to keep track on the side that I have done 70 songs so far. All right, now I'm I'm not going to do anything more than just ones, just to make sure I have an equal amount. I'm going to start out with three at a time. All right, so I'm going to be doing three circles in each musical digital player, each rectangle, and then I'm going to be keeping track as I do my circles of how many I've done, and I'm going to write that on the side. So if I do three in each, it's going to look like this, one, two, three, and then I would say 71, 72, 73. Okay, so 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91. And then I'm just going to write 91 right here to make sure I'm not going over. All right, I am getting pretty close. I think I can fit in two more. So I'm going to do two more at a time. So I start, stopped at 91, so I'm going to keep counting at 92. So 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. All right, I am pretty close. I think I'm just going to keep going one at a time. So I stopped at 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112. There we go. So I got to my 112 just by breaking up the numbers. 
Now, the question below the green box is asking how many songs are in each music player? So how many are in each rectangle? Remember that line here represents 10. So I have 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So in here, I have 16, which represents 16 songs on each player. All right. We're going to go ahead and move to the second image here. So number one, build understanding. So a local theater group is performing a musical. The members arrange 105 chairs in five equal rows for the audience. How many chairs are in each row? All right, so I'm going to zoom up on this problem and I'm going to read it again, but this time I'm going to be picking out the numbers and what type of operation we're going to be doing. So a local theater group is performing a musical. The members arrange 105 chairs in five equal rows for the audience. How many chairs are in each row? I'm actually going to redo my 105 so we can see that number more clearly. So how many chairs are in each row? So I know that there are five rows and there's 105 chairs. And we wanna know out of the total 105 chairs, how many are in each row? So would it make sense for there to be more than 105 chairs in each row? Mm, no, probably not. So that means we are going to be dividing. We're taking the, the total of 105 chairs and putting them into five rows. So what I'm gonna start you with is say that these are gonna be my rows. There's my rows. So one, the row is gonna go this way. So row one, two, three, four, and five. All right, so I want you to go ahead and pause this video, try to get all 105 chairs into these five rows and then come back when you're ready. All right, hopefully you had enough time to work through this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do 10 chairs in each row, because I know that five times 10 is 50. And I know that that's kind of even half, so I'm gonna do five at a time after that. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, forty, forty-one, forty-two, forty-three, forty-four, forty-five, forty-six, forty-seven, forty-eight, forty-nine, fifty. All right. So right now I have. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. All right. So right now I have. 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. All right. So right now I have. Let's do it up here. I have 50 done so far. All right, so I know that I can get up to 100 if I do that again. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is add 10 more, counting 10 at a time. So I have 50, so 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 90, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. Okay, so now I'm at 100, and I did 10 on the first 10, the on the first go, and then 10 on the next go, which means I have 20 in each row right now. So I'm at 100, and I need 105. If I have five rows, I just need to add one more chair. So 101, 102, 103, 104, 105. So if I had 10 the first go, 10 the second go, and I added one more, 10, 10, and one, would be 21 chairs on each go around, on each row. All right, so in the second part of this is now we need to talk about what we just did. So A, B, C, D, and E. Hopefully you already went through and wrote all of your answers to these um, for A. If you didn't, go ahead and pause here and continue those before I move on. 
All right. Hopefully you got a chance to go through and write down your answers for A through E. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. So A, how does your rectangular array represent the situation? Well, you can write something along the lines of, I drew my picture to match the problem. I have 21 um, dots in each row representing the 21 chairs in each row, something along those lines. How many groups of five did you make? So five rows, how many groups of five? We had 21 chairs in each row, so I made 20. Oops, sorry about that. I had 21 groups of five on each. So what multiplication equation and related division equation can you write to model the situation? So I know that I started with 105, and this is pretty small, so I'm going to try to write small. I started with 105, and I divided it by 5, giving me the 21 chairs in the row. So that's division, but it's also asking for a multiplication equation. So the multiplication would be, if I had the 21 chairs by the 5 rows, it would give me my total of 105 chairs in the entire section. All right, and then it asks, how are the factors and the products, that's the multiplication, of the multiplication equation related to the dividend, divisor, and quotient in the division equation? Okay, so the factors, I'll try to write this out as best I can. So the factors are the divisor and the quotient. And then your product is equal to the dividend. Sorry about my messy writing. All right, and so then again, how many chairs are in each row? This is the same question asking in a different way for B. How many groups did you make? Meaning how many chairs are in each, each row? And we did get 21 chairs in each row. All right, I want you to go ahead and finish this lesson. Obviously, do your check for understanding, and then I will see you for Module 2, Lesson 2.